everyone. I hope you are having a great Monday so far. I'm just gonna get this all pulled up right now. Okay, cool. All right, so today I am going to be painting this little ice cream cone. So um, if you are new to my channel, or my channel, my Facebook page, I do have a YouTube channel, which I upload um, all my Facebook lives to. But <laughs> um, if you're new to my Facebook page, my name's Kayla and I'm here with Broken Compass Creations. Here at Broken Compass Creations, I paint and sell door hangers and signs. I sell art kits and I do paint parties. So um, this ice cream cone was in one of my art kits a couple of weeks ago. So every art kit that I sell, I come on and do a live painting tutorial for you. So in the art kit, you get the wooden blank, you get all the paint you need, you get the brushes, um, anything extra, a sponge pouncer, if there are polka dots or whatever I use to make the design. I give it to you in the art kit and then I do a live painting tutorial. So this is kind of like a fun way to paint with me virtually um, if you want to do so. So tonight we're going to do this little ice cream cone. So I usually do a kit that's a little bit bigger and a kit that's a little bit smaller. So this one is the smaller size. Um, my grandma's on. Hi, grandmama. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're jumping on, go ahead and say hi so I know you're watching and you're here. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and jump on into this. So this is a really like cute little design for summer. Um, could be a fun one to do with kids as well. Like I think some of these, um, some of my art kits really are great, very kid friendly. So it can just be like a fun, like artsy thing for them to do. So, um, if you did buy an art kit, you would have gotten one smaller flat tip brush and, or one larger flat tip brush and one smaller round tip brush. So we're going to go ahead and start with our flat tip brush and paint the entire ice cream cone white. Um, I have a lot of very light colors um, on this ice cream cone, and so I just want to um, make sure everything's going to be nice and vibrant for this ice cream cone. Um, so by painting it white, I'm kind of just like priming it so everything will really be nice and bright and like the wood won't show through. So. That's why I do that when I'm using some either like lighter colors or colors I know just don't cover very well. So a lot of times that's like things with like red in them or um, let's see what else. So I have pink in this one um, and then this kind of like lighter greenish color. So. Yellow usually needs a primer color or the primer white under it as well. So I am just going to hit this with the hair dryer so I can dry it real quick and we can get going. to do two coats of white I think um, just to make sure I'm nice and bright colors going always get a dog hair in my <laughs> paint. <laughs> Never fails. Okay, now I'm just gonna hit, the, hit it with the hair dryer again and then we can get started with some actual fun colors. Thank you. 
for this design, I am using all Deco Art Americana matte paint. Um, it's this acrylic paint. You can really, I mean, you can use whatever brand that you like. Deco Art is one of my favorites. I also like Apple Barrel. Sometimes, depending on where you live, Apple Barrel might be one that's a little bit easier to get just because um, they sell it in Walmart. So, that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, that, that's the brand of paint I'm using for this um, design. And this color is Sweet Mint. It's one of my favorites. It's just so pretty. It's like a seafoam green type color, which is my favorite color. So, <laughs> I really like it. Um, I am going to continue to use a larger flat tip brush. If I can decide which one I want to use. I guess, yeah, no, I do want to use a smaller one. I had a really big one, so I just need to... Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to basically paint my top scoop of ice cream with this sweet mint color. And I'm just going to put some squigglies at the bottom. You know, you can make it however... You could do straight across, you could do some squigglies, whatever your heart desires. So, and you also can paint the edges of your sign if you want, it's totally up to you. You can do it like while you're actually painting it, so you can just make whatever color is going on top go on the sides. Um, or you can go back and paint the sides black when you're done, or you can just leave them. It's totally up to you. I typically go back and paint them black, um, and then I paint the back black as well just to give it a more like finished look. I hate painting the edges of my signs and door hangers. It's one of my least favorite things of the whole process, but I do think it does help it give it a little more finished type look. So I'm just gonna smooth out my brush strokes on this baby. Oh, it's such a pretty color. Okay, and then I'm gonna move on to my next color, which I actually can't remember if I did hot pink or, I forgot what I did pink. Can't remember what, I'm gonna do my hot pink next. So, this is carousel pink. It's a nice bright pink color. So I'm going to do that as my middle scoop. So I'm going to take that same brush. And then just do, oh, you know what? Yep, I just did that unevenly. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is why we have baby wipes. Baby wipes fix, fix any mistake, you guys. So I just went down to the wrong part with my green. So I'm just going to wipe off that pink I just put on there. See? And it wipes right off, as you can see. You could do it like that if you wanted a diagonal, but I did not mean to do it like that. Uh, that was an accident. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna smooth out those brush strokes. And now I'll move into the hot pink. That's why baby wipes are so nice to have around. Because <laughs> they really do help fix any mishaps. Um, plus, if you're just like, are kind of a messy painter, or, you know, accidents happen all the time, trust me. <laughs> um, and you like, just drip paint on something, and then you're freaking out because you don't want it to ruin your sign or door hanger um a baby wipe really just takes it right off so it's super nice okay i'm gonna just even out those brush strokes and then we'll go into our lighter pink color and this color is called baby pink it's pretty much it's nice and light um so we'll go in with that for our third scoop so you can really do them in whatever order you want you don't have to do it in this order you don't need very much. And then we'll just do the last scoop. Are you guys having a good Monday? Did you have a good weekend? Did anyone do anything fun this weekend?
comment down below. We, um, my husband didn't work this weekend, which was awesome, and we ended up uh, going to a drive-in movie, which was super fun, um, and just different. I've actually never been to a drive-in movie theater, and yeah, it was really fun, and we watched um, Jaws, which was like a classic. I hadn't, I don't think I've ever seen Jaws all the way through. It was like one of the films we studied in film lit in high school, so I remember seeing parts of it and learning about it, but um, I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through, so it's kind of fun. Fun little date night. So we're gonna let those dry and go ahead and do the cone part. So I'm using this honey brown color. It's this nice light brown. And I'm going to actually mix it with some of the white. Let me get some more white here. So I wanna lighten it up. I'm gonna put some, um, you know how a cone it kind of has like a waffle type pattern in it? So I'm gonna do the base coat a little lighter brown and then with the, just the original honey brown, um, I'll do that kind of grid waffle type pattern. So um, when I mix colors together, I like to use the back of my brush because it just helps give it like a nice even mixture. I'm just gonna You can just mix it until you get whatever kind of shade of brown that you're looking for. Okay. And then we're just going to paint the bottom part that light brown color. So I am going to go ahead and give everything a second coat of paint as well. Um, but before you do second coats of paint, you always want to make sure it's nice and dry first or else you're just moving around wet paint and it doesn't actually cover anything, so. Okay. So, we have all of our base colors down first and um, we're gonna, they're all a little bit wet, so we're gonna go ahead and dry it with the hair dryer, and then we'll go back over and do a second coat for all of them. So they're nice and vibrant and bright colors we have going for us, so we'll go ahead and do that. Because I use matte paint, it's really easy to tell when it's um, wet still because it'll be shiny. So if you're not sure if something's dry or wet and you don't want to touch it because you don't want to ruin your paint, if it looks shiny, then it's still wet. So that's a good way to tell. Alright, so we're going to go back in with the sweet mint color and just do a second coat of that. I just love this color. It's so like vibrant. So I do have some really exciting, fun things happening this week for Broken Compass Creations. I have a couple things that are going on this week, so um, keep an eye out on my page, my posts, just to keep updated because there are going to be some awesome opportunities for you guys, some exciting news, so keep a lookout because big things are coming this week. I'm so excited. Something like really big is happening tomorrow and it's going to be awesome. So, okay, so I'm going to go in with that um, darker pink color. So these are really great just to like something fun for you to paint if you're as I say if you're like really if you're wanting to get into painting but you are hesitant to paint something as big as a door hanger um, these can be a really great like start 
starter type, I'm gonna dip my toe in the water <laughs> type thing. So they're nice and small. It's not too much to commit to or anything. Um, it, so they can just be something fun to paint and you can totally use them as like a shelf sitter or just kind of tuck them away anywhere, like in your kitchen or um, wherever you have some sort of like shelf. I guess I just keep thinking of the shelf, but anything like that. Um, but I also make some, like I made, I'm planning to make some more, but I made one sign that has attachments on it. So basically it says, I think it says like, bless this home and all who enter. And then there's a space to put something that's like a smaller size, um, sign. And I put, um, industrial Velcro on the back of it so you can change it out for the season. So there's one for you know, winter time, spring time, summer and fall, and then you can just continue to add to it as well. So if you had a sign like that, you could paint your own little attachments to put on it too, and then just change them out as you want to. So these could be really cute little attachments for signs as well. And that's kind of nice just because you can like customize it to the um, time of year too. Okay, I'm going to hit it with the hair dryer again so we can do some sprinkles and some grid lines on our um, comb. Up this hot pink in a few places real quick. And that's a great thing about paint too, is you can always paint over it, you know? So if you mess something up, for the most part, it's typically fixable. So now I'm going to do these little grid lines on my um, the bottom of my cone. So I'm going to use a smaller round tip brush. Hmm, what one do I want to use? This is a size 5. So I'm going to take that original honey brown color because it's a little bit darker without the white. And then do just some little grid lines. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Let's get paint all over my paint bottle. Okay. So do some little grid lines. And the trick is to always have enough paint on your brush for things like this. Whether you're outlining or highlighting, just making sure you have enough paint on your brush. Um, and you know, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I say that all the time, and it's just true. <laughs> like, it's okay if it's not perfect. Um, but if you wanted to be like more precise, you could use like painter's tape and um, do the lines that way if you were really worried about. I do use a lot of painter's tape for designs I sell, um, but it depends on what kind of look you're going for. Sometimes like the little messy, whimsical look is nice. Um, plus this is a pretty small space, so it's not too bad to like freehand it. So I just have some lines going that way, and then I'm just going to cross them like an ice cream cone would look like. There's always dog hair in my paint, y'all. <laughs> Every time. Okay. Oh, 
do one more. Okay. Then I am gonna put just a little um, brown line at, right at the top of the cone as well. So we have our little cone, cone grid um, and then all that's left is to put the sprinkles on. So I'm going to do some sprinkles of every color. I'm going to do some hot pink, light pink, the sweet mint color, and the honey brown color um, on each of the scoops of ice cream. So I'm going to continue to use that round tip brush and then just kind of put them randomly on there however you want you can put as many or as little so that's why I say this one I mean after this we're we're done so it's a really simple design you could um, do this on something like larger as well I've seen people do a big ice cream door hanger if you wanted something like that I could definitely make something and put some words on it like I don't know happy summer or whatever you want on it but um looks good <laughs> thanks husband <laughs> he's joining tonight um so yeah these can be really cute too for I I have a birthday cake one um that I've done that's larger and it has a char uh, chalkboard little space in the bottom so you can always write someone's name on it and that's really great for if you're like I, I think like if you're in a workplace and you celebrate people's birthdays it could just be cute to have out for the day when it's someone's birthday and write their name on it or it can be cute for a family so if you ever have like even just a family dinner for someone's birthday you can just have a little birthday cake with their name um, on it or for a classroom I thought it would be really cute too if you have um, if you work with like younger kids and as a way to like celebrate birthdays you can write their name on their little on the birthday cake door hanger um, to help celebrate their birthday so I just thought it's kind of like a cool one but you could do the same thing with a cupcake a ice cream cone or anything like that so if anyone has any you know desires for any of those please let me know um, makes you want to go to silver dipper yeah me too Silver Dipper, if you're not local, it's one of our local ice cream shops here in Lafayette, West Lafayette. Um, and it's delicious and they have great ice cream. I'm gonna do some chocolate sprinkles. And then I think I'm gonna do some white sprinkles too. JK. Put some white sprinkles on there and then I'll be done. So I do lots of sprinkles, but you can do as little or as much as your heart desires. Alrighty. And that's it, y'all. It's that simple. It's really a super, super simple, easy, quick little um, sign to do that you can paint yourself. So that's our finished product. You can make whatever twist you want on it. Um, but there you go. The ice cream cone. Just super cute, fun for summer. Um, but yeah. So if you guys want to paint with me virtually and do a little like art kit like this, you can paint with me on Facebook Live. You can catch my replay. It always stays on my page. Um, I also have a YouTube channel that's also called Broken Compass Creations, and I upload all my live videos there, so if you um, want to watch it on YouTube, you could do that as well. And um, so I change the art kits that I have available on my website every two weeks. So right now, the art kits that are available are this Hey Y'all um, uh, Circle. So this would be really great for a door. Um, it's about 16 and a quarter by 16 and a quarter, and this one um, has some cool techniques I'm going to be teaching. So these flowers, I'm going to teach you how to do all these flowers, how to do the shiplap look, um, which is really cute, and it might look intimidating, but 
guys this door hanger is really not that hard and I actually provide the words that say hey y'all so you don't even have to do your own lettering like your words can look just like this so that's pretty cool too because I know that's a very um, intimidating factor for a lot of people is having to put words on something and they don't want to do it themselves so this is a really um, good one to do and it's super fun I love doing flowers it's one of my favorite things to paint so this is one that's for sale right now this kit comes with the blank the paint brushes the paint um, the words instructions everything like that and I will paint live I did a tutorial on this one so you can just follow right along um, so this kit is $20 and then my other kit that's for sale right now is this cute little fish and it also comes with the paint the brushes a sponge pouncer because I do some little polka dots on the tail um, so this is a really cute again similar to the ice cream cone like it's just a nice basic design to do um, it has this really cool ombre in the middle of it so I'm gonna teach you how to do get that nice like seamless ombre look as well and um, this could also be a fun one for kids to do I think so and of course they can put whatever twist they want on it they don't have to do this exact design um, anyone can put whatever twist they want in it so this kit um, is $12 so you, if you go to my website brokencompasscreations.com I have a category a category labeled art kits and you can see those for sale these two are only available until July 3rd so if you want to paint either of these you got to make your purchase by midnight on July 3rd and then I'll be painting those two on Facebook live in the coming weeks so Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and watching if you liked this video or you think that someone else that you know might like this video please spread the word about me and my business page and what I do here it's really really helpful to get my name out there so I so much appreciate it and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday and a great rest, a great rest of your week I'll see you guys in a few days all right bye